to that defeat to Barnley. Well, I was disappointed, yeah. We've got 5,000 fans there. And I felt like going in about half time. It was that disappointing, you know. We went to the race and they were up for it with it being the derby. And we were non existent in the field in the first half. But I thought second half we started all right, actually. I thought we made a couple of changes and I thought we'll pull it and get a few chances which rank in the first half. And then I thought the, the controversial incident cost us nearly. I think when you look at the, the tackle on Russ McCormack, it's a red card by Dorsey. It's a, it's a red card, it's nothing else. I mean, the referee stood in a great position. And I can't understand why he can't. At least a yellow, a yellow card to be lucky, but a red card. And he, he's, you know, he's on the floor, and they play on him and get a penalty. It, it, you know, it defeats me. Do you feel the referee was a couple of seasons into me? Not so oh, as well. No, in fairness, they had a little bit of the ball in the first half, so they couldn't have more free kicks. And I, I think it'll fit into the local derby, you let things go. But when you easily book Becky off or something like that, you know, you've got to ask how he can head it with a bloke on his back before the ball comes up. You know, they're just not consistent. You know, I think the crowd influences some of the times and things, but, you know, it's not a game today for a... Uh, Referee, I don't think. I'm sure when he looks at that free kick, the, the tackle on McCord, like it's a leg breaking tackle, it's a disgrace. But he's not got caution for that. In terms of performance wise, Barnsley created a lot of chances, didn't they? The scoring could have been worse. They should have been outside in the first half. You know, they should have been out of sight, so you can't take that off there. You know, they were up for it more, we would get caught sloppy in midfield, and, and we had to be held, you know, we held it to the back line, really. They kept us in it. But I thought it was like enough. We started quite brightly with the changes, and I thought we created more. You know, when Ross hit the post, and I thought there were another couple of opportunities, which, you know, if one of them had it gone in, it would have put them thinking, dear me, I don't want that play, I'm going on. You know, the young lad's got to learn a little bit, some a rushed challenge like that, but as I've said, when a young lad makes that tackle, he gets a caution, and that's what I don't understand. So uh, the game was over then, you know, they took the second goal, we got caught at the back, and, uh, you know, in the end, we were well beaten. It was a, a lack of creating chances in the game, wasn't it? Luciano no Becker didn't really have much to work with tonight. No, he's, uh, he's, his mind's not on the game at the moment, but, uh, you know, I'll be having have a chat with him, I'm sure. In terms of, um, of in your, your team selection as well, Lee Peltier being at, at left back has been one of the talking points. Many fans have been asking us about like, why you continue playing at left back. I mean, you do have a couple of left backs at the football club, natural left backs. Yes. Dreary. Well, he's in fact with Flynn today. Okay. So, really, well, I don't think any of better than Lee Peltier, if I'm honest, in a, in a game like this. Uh, so, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm quite happy to have him left back, if I'm honest. In terms of the weekend as well, you've got lots of, of work to do. Are you still trying to get players into the football club, what's back? Yeah, I thought he could do all right, he only created chances, he, yeah, he got caught a couple of times, but I thought he tried really hard and, and it was a bright spark really. Um, but uh, yeah, we've, we've, you know, we've given them, I think we've given them targets and now we've got to see, see if we can get them over the line, you know, the number of players you've seen today, we are a bit thin in certain areas, we've got to get one or two t targets in and hopefully we can do that in the next fortnight, you know, but in the meantime we've got to burn them and try and get in the next round. And the fans evidently frustrated as well. It's the first time that they've really directed their frustration towards you and what we so. Well, I can't, you can't blame them, can you? If I'd have played with money, I think I'd have joined them today, first half. But I thought second half, we really didn't deserve it. I thought second half, we were a lot better and uh, we could have got back in it. In penalties uh, disappointed me, but uh, the tackle disappointed me as well, you know. Um, because uh, I don't see why anybody can't be spotted and then it was such a nasty tackle like that and get away with it. It's uh, disappointing for me. And I suppose that it's just a busy weekend. Yeah, the two games we haven't got time to do on it now. We've got to get up and off and uh, down to Birmingham and try and get into that next round. Thanks, Johnny Buchan speaking. Uh,